What's going on everybody? It's Dila 926 here. The game is over and the Pittsburgh Steelers came out victorious. The final score was 26 to 16. Um, I said the final score would be between, I thought the Steelers would score between, you know, 28 and 31 points. They put up 26. I didn't think the Giants would score more than 14 in this game. They put up 16. So, I mean, that was pretty close for the most part. But, um, yeah, I mean, it was a tough game. I'm not going to kill Daniel Jones in this video. I actually thought he played pretty well. You know, um, I mean, he, he killed us on that one drive where he, where he threw the pick in the end zone. But his arm was, was – it did get hit. And many people thought that he was trying to throw the ball out of the back of the end zone on the play. But honestly, you know, we wouldn't have made it that far on that drive if he didn't make the plays that he did in that drive to get us down, you know, inside the 10-yard line to begin with. But, uh, yeah, for the most part, I thought he played pretty well all game long. I mean, he was under duress the whole entire game. Like I said, he was going to be, you know, the offensive line struggled. Um, it, yeah, it just, I mean, the Steelers' off in defensive front, I mean, they're just too much. They're too much to handle for our young offensive line. And I knew that was going to be an issue going into this game, and it just proved to be, you know, a big issue for the Giants in this game. You know, they held their own pretty well in the first half. The Giants, you know, they kept the game close. But, uh, you know, the Steelers just came out on top, and they were the, the better team in this game. Um, I mean, you and I both know that, that the Steelers were the better team coming into this game, and, and everybody should have known that the Steelers were probably going to win this one. But uh, let's go through some numbers here. You know, Jones was 26 of 41. He threw for 279, two touchdowns, and uh, two interceptions. He got one of the touchdowns late. Um, Barkley, whew, good Lord. You know, the Steelers just did not give him any room to run. And I said that in my prediction video that, that the Steelers would definitely zero in on him and try to take him out of the game, which they did. 15 rushes for six yards. Wow. I honestly thought he'd have in between, like, 50 to 60 yards rushing, but he ended up getting that through the air. He, uh... What do you have? Barkley had six for 60 through the air. So he ended up with 66 yards total against the Pittsburgh Steelers defense. Um, Slayton came out, had a huge game, continued to do what he did last year. Um, I, I, I mean, I know Slayton's a good wide receiver, but I didn't expect him to do all that against the Pittsburgh Steelers. So he was definitely a bright spot in this game. So, I mean, we, we, I think we've got something with that guy. He could, he could be our number one. I think I, I can commit to saying that Slayton could be a number one wide receiver. I had to see him do it this year. I mean, I, I saw him do it last year, but I had to see some more this year to actually commit to him actually being our number one wide receiver, but it seems to be he can do it. Um, yeah, other contributors, you know, Shep had six catches for 47 yards. I think on the first drive, what, he had two catches for, what, 25 yards or something like that, so he didn't do much else after that first drive. Like I said, you know, the Steelers would take out, they would take a lot of the under, underneath stuff, which is, is where he makes his living, is underneath. And uh, he just didn't do much after that first drive. Um, Ingram, non-existent, man. I just, I'm just so done with Evan Ingram. I just don't know what to do with this guy. Like, you can't figure out if he's a tight end or he's a wide receiver. He's just a tweener, and you just can't figure out where to put him and, and what he's good at. And he's just, he's too inconsistent for me, man. And honestly, I'd rather have Caden Smith out there, honestly. Um, but yeah, that's basically how it broke down for us numbers-wise. Uh, you look at the Steelers, you know, Big Ben was 21 of 32 for 229 yards, three touchdowns. Two of those went to Juju Smith-Schuster. Um, Schuster had six for 69, two touchdowns, like I said. Uh, Deontay Johnson didn't come out and do do the damage that I honestly thought he would. I mean, he had opportunities to make plays in that game, and uh, there was there was one play where he, he kind of got mixed up with Big Ben. Uh, it was like a little five yard route, and, and Ben threw it directly at his back. Uh, there's just a little bit of miscommunication on that play, but uh, yeah, Deontay Johnson definitely underperformed in that game because I, I thought he would light us up. But he still came out, had six for 57 yards, something like that. Probably could have had two or three more catches if he would have caught the ball. Um, Claypool came out, two catches, 39 yards. You know, deep threat right now. That's all they're really going to do with him is just tell him to run straight and throw the ball down the field to him. You know, they're probably going to ask for a little bit more in the future. But as of right now, that's all they're going to ask him to do. Um, James Washington, he had two catches for 34 yards and a touchdown. Ebron had one catch for eight yards, and he was really not a factor, and I honestly thought he would be a little bit more of a factor in this game, but he wasn't. 
But, I mean, all in all, I mean, I'm glad the Giants made this game close in the first half. At least it was competitive. You know, I kind of thought they were going to come out and get blown out in this game. You know, Daniel Jones played pretty well considering, you know, the pressure he was under the entire game, not having a running game for most of the time, for most of the game. I mean, the whole entire game. I can't even say for most of the game. I mean, it was the whole game. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I thought he played halfway decent, man, especially against a good defense like that. I'm not going to I'm not gonna sit here and, and, and knock Daniel Jones' play in that game. He just made one big, big mistake. But like I said, I mean, we'd, we would have never made it that far on that drive if it wasn't for him and the plays that he made on that drive. So let me just say this. How many times did we see Eli Manning kill, kill drives for us when he was our quarterback? He did it plenty of times. So let's not kill this kid over this one drive in the first game of the season. You know, we got 15 more to go. Just, let's see what the kid does. I think he's got he's got a bright future, and he's, he's going to play pretty well this year. So don't knock the kid. Um, yeah, I mean, that's basically all I can say about the game. I almost called the score. I was close. But uh, that's it for the video, you guys. Until next week, I think we will come up come out on top against the Chicago, Chicago Bears. I think we will play very well against the Bears. And we're going to come out with a victory in that game. So, you know, I'm going to put my preview video together for that one and tell you guys what I think. But, yeah, I think things are going to be a lot better for us next week. So, let's uh, get over this loss. It is what it is. Move on to the next one. Let's go get them in game number two. Let's go Giants. All right, see you guys. Bye.